The Cavalry Engine Initiative, which started in 1989, is India's ambitious endeavor to create an indigenous aero engine for fighter aircraft. Despite the many technical, industrial, and funding obstacles it has faced over the years, it has also achieved major successes that form the foundation for India's future aerospace power plant development. The objective of the Kaveri engine project was to develop a high-performance turbofan engine for the light combat aircraft, Tejas. The program was initiated in the late 1980s with cutting-edge requirements, but it lacked supporting infrastructure, including validated design tools, material databases, testing, and manufacturing capabilities. At the outset, several critical components, such as turbine blade machining and forgings, were dependent on foreign vendors, which caused delays and complications. An early technical challenge was resolving aeroelastic issues such as acoustic screech and fan oscillation. These problems were observed during altitude testing abroad, since India lacked such facilities at the time. This led to the development and validation of aeroelastic and aeroacoustic codes, as well as design iterations. Currently, the Cavalry engine is free from oscillation and screech issues. To date, the program has built four core engines and nine Kaveri engines, which have undergone rigorous ground testing. Together, they have accumulated over 3,400 hours of operation. This testing includes altitude condition simulations and flying testbed experiments. Safety and life-related component testing has been completed in line with certification protocols. An international engine house audited the program and confirmed that the engine has reached a high level of technological maturity, making it flight-worthy for a restricted flight envelope. The Kaveri engine was originally meant to power the Tejas in combat roles that required supersonic speeds and afterburners. However, it could not meet certain performance requirements due to technological gaps and deficiencies in the ecosystem at the time. Even so, the program laid a strong technological foundation for India's aerospace sector. In recent years, significant progress has been made in developing a derivative version of the Kaveri engine for unmanned combat aerial vehicles, or UCAVs. This variant, sanctioned in 2018 but initiated around 2016-17, shares about 75% of its features with the original Kaveri. It has been modified to meet the needs of subsonic, covert, pilotless platforms. The UK-focused engine reduces infrared emissions and improves stealth by eliminating afterburners, resulting in a dry engine design. It includes a fan that can withstand high distortion, enabling serpentine air intakes typical of stealth aircraft. It has an autonomous digital engine control system called FADEC and fully indigenous replaceable units. Its thrust rating is about 49 kN, lower than the original Cavalry's 82 kN. Endurance mission testing and system integration trials have been successfully completed, showing readiness for UCAV missions at speeds up to Mach 0.9 and altitudes of 12 to 13 km. The Kaveri engine currently under development is classified as fourth generation. The next goal is to create a fifth-generation fighter aircraft engine with about 120 kilonewtons of thrust. This engine will have a much better thrust-to-weight ratio, higher turbine entry temperatures, and a longer operational life of about 2,000 hours. To strengthen India's capabilities, collaboration with international engine manufacturers is being pursued. International partners are in discussions, though a final decision awaits government approval. Over the past decade, India's aero engine ecosystem for design, development, manufacturing, testing, and certification has matured significantly, enabling such ambitious projects. Continuity of development is a critical success factor. Past experiences, such as with the HF Marut fighter, showed the setbacks caused by halting progress, which created decades-long gaps in capabilities. The Kaveri program is seen as a long-term investment in infrastructure and technology that must continue. Over the years, 
Industries and universities with relevant expertise have steadily grown, allowing faster progress compared to earlier decades. With government backing and international partnerships, India is now positioned to move toward fifth and even sixth generation aero engines. Funding has always been a critical factor. India's investments have been modest compared to the United States, Russia, or China, but stakeholders believe money alone could not have solved the ecosystem gaps of the 1980s. Since 2012, technical challenges rather than financial ones have defined the program's pace. Today, funding is recognized as essential to maintain momentum. The program's teams have seen morale rise thanks to public support, including campaigns like Fund Kaveri. The program is now a source of national pride, reflecting India's determination to achieve aerospace independence. The Kaveri is a living, evolving system, despite misconceptions. It serves as the base for new engines, such as those for UCAVs. Development teams are working to complete integration and testing on Indian platforms, which will prove the full cycle of indigenous aero engine capability. The program's legacy, lessons, and innovations continue to shape India's aerospace future. The Kaveri Engine Program shows India's effort to build high-technology aerospace systems from scratch in the late 20th century. Despite delays and challenges, the program has created a strong intellectual and industrial foundation. With growing national support, partnerships, and the drive to develop fifth-generation engines, India's aeronautical propulsion capabilities are set for a promising future. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.